here's a nice example of something. Who wants this one? Case 13. And you can just tell me, if you think you know what it is, just tell me what the answer is. The only reason for this is because I know you guys know how to describe stuff, and I want to make sure I get through all the cases without making you late for your clinic. So, Mucosil. Boom. Got it. Mucosil. Or mucus extravasation phenomenon. Or That's not extravasation. That's the wrong word. That means coming out of a vessel. But... Um, there is another word for it that's kind of more fancy, but mucosil is what I like. The idea is you're in the lip, right? We've got stratified squamous epithelium without a granular layer, without a corneal layer. So, and it's got kind of that pale glycogenated look. So that's mucosa and there's skeletal muscle there. And this is a minor salivary gland, small lobule of glands that are rich in mucin filled cells. And these, of course, are going to connect up to little ducts. And so but this, seeing this and, and the stratified squamous mucosa tells you you're in the lip, the mucosal lip. And then here, what you have is this cystic space. And it's actually a pseudocyst. It's lined not by epithelium, but by a thick layer of histiocytes, which are filled with kind of gooey mucin material. They kind of look almost like kind of foamy, but instead of having tiny vacuoles, they actually just have this kind of fluffy, loose stuff in there. So basically the idea is that a duct ruptures, a, um, a salivary duct ruptures, and the mucus and, and salivary secretions spill out of it, and then the histiocytes come in and mop it up. So kind of like how we had the keratin granuloma earlier from a ruptured keratin-filled structure, this is what happens when you rupture a mucus-filled um, ductal structure in the um, oral mucosa. So this is mucosil. Very nice.